What's going on guys? This is Nate from the Shrub Academy welcoming you to another episode of our Seal Structure Deck Challenge. Today we are going on with week five of our Seal Structure Deck Challenge, five of eight. Um, if you don't know what that is or what our Seal Structure Deck is, go ahead and check up in the cards below, up above, as well as at the very end of the video there's going to be a link to our playlist for every single one of our episodes. But to premise it, what happens is every single week, so we started out with three Structure Decks. Out of those three Structure Decks, we had to take those and try and merge them into one fully functioning deck. And then every single week we're going to duel with them and every single week after the first duel, so like say week, week one we dueled and then after that we could open up $30 worth of packs. After those $30 worth of packs are opened, we get to see what we can take from those $30 worth of packs. We can see if we can put those into our deck. So we can only add things in or take things out once we open things out of our packs, uh, open cards out of our packs. So today is week five, the start of week five, and we are still searching for a goddamn cross sheet. So Cross Sheep is the card we're looking for. We really need that for extra deck. Um, it's just gonna make a whole lot of things easier. Um, we did learn over this past week certain things about our deck. Um, we're, we're really improving with it when it comes to making misplays. I think we're only making like one or two a game now, which is really nice for one, two, and match, which is pretty nice for me because I'm known for making lots of mistakes with that. So today we're opening up $30 worth of Ignition Assault packs. And I think we actually have too many here. We've got one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten. We can open up seven. So three out of these packs are not going to be open today. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and pick seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so these three are not going to be open today. These are. So maybe later on we can open up those with something else. But if we get something or the one card that I need out of this, aka the cross sheet, don't even got to worry about it. We'll just go ahead and take this and be good to go. But all right, let's go ahead. We'll start opening these up. And then after that, we can see if we can add anything into the deck. All right, so we've got our Time Thief, a Chrono Quarter, Battle Survivor, Squeak Knight, Disposable, Dispo, Dispo, Disposable Learner Device, a Jack of Bolin, and the motherfucking Crossy. Yes! We bought a goddamn box to pull a rare, but I don't even give a shit. We've got it, finally. Out, uh, matching outfits, and then Fedron, the Winds of Mischief. Finally, I, I was going to be afraid that it was going to be in like the last three packs too, and it's going to be super annoying. We're just going to buzz through these. You can see them as I go. we got a Sky Strike or Ace Rose, Rose, for our Ultra, so that's nice. AI Love Fusion, which would be good if we could actually add in the Adagnister stuff, but unfortunately, it just doesn't work the way that we want it to. We're gonna keep pumping through these packs now. Nine Lives Cat, add Ignister card, which is nice. Ibisella Luta. Cannot be destroyed by battle while you control another monster. Neither player can target face it, so our traps you control with card effects. That's actually pretty nice. Um, most of these cards now I just don't care about. Um, when it comes down to it, it just ends up being random cards now because we got the cross sheet. So um, if we do pull something crazy good, I'll take. We got a secret, we got a, uh, a at Achichi at Ignister for our secret rare. I'll have to take a look at that. Plunder booty, Plunder patrol booty. Um, again, we are gonna be, so once this season is done, so we have eight weeks, so after, what, three more weeks of this, we are going to be doing just uh, everything that has been opened, every single pack, every single card, doesn't matter what it is, will be placed on the TCG player. So once that is going up and running, That'll happen. So I'm not going to link the TCG player yet. Um, we are going to uh, Car Curry Super Shogun MDI 00N Bariburu, and then a Ancient Warrior Saga. Um, I will go ahead and link Ethan Schwartz's um, TCG player down in the comment section below or in the description below for you guys. He is who we've been getting all of our packs from, all of our boxes, everything like that. Um, he's who we usually go through. One of my good friends. So go ahead and check him out uh, if you do want to go ahead and get any cards or anything like that. He does sell lots of cards on there for you, as well as you can hit him up on Facebook. I'm not going to link that because that's creepy, but you can check him out there as well if you need any cards. Gravity Controller, Armory Call, Witchcrafter Genny for our super. Um, just, yeah, no, I'll link those. And then once we actually start posting cards for sale online, so after our first weeks, um, a lot of cards that we're going to be get, we're going to get rid of everything because we literally have to start over for season two. Um, all new packs, all new structure decks, everything is brand new. We can't use anything that we already had, so everything will be brand new for you guys. This is our last pack, by the way. 
Ancient Warriors, Virtuous Louis Zahn. I think that's how you say that. Earth Golem Ignister. All right, and that's it. So out of this pack, we did get a few cards here um, that I really care about. We're missing a couple supers, actually. Where are those at? Let's see if I can find those real quick for you guys. There's one. I think I'm missing one more out of all my packs. There he is. All right, so there are all the cards that we pulled out of our packs that we actually care about. Um, we did have this cool Achichi Ignister, which I think is going for a little bit of money, so look for that online because I'm not going to be using it in my packs. But really, the Karashi is what we're looking for here. Um, we didn't pull anything like Lightning Strike or anything like that I think was in this pack as well, so that kind of sucks. Uh, again, we do still have three packs that have been unopened. We don't know what are in these, so later on I'll open those. Uh, probably not on video, but we'll just open those and we'll sell that as well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead, I'll take these, and we're going to see what we can put into our deck, and then I'll be back later on with our deck profile. So, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the actual deck profile for you guys after you open up all those packs. Um, I really still want to go ahead and figure out a way to add these Ignisters, honestly. Um, it's just never going to work out for me. Um, we're going to try and do something else, just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, especially since we're going to 8 wins. Uh, out of 8, best out of 8, so 5 out of the 8 wins. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. We'll start off, we got three Windy, best card in the deck. We have our two Aerial. I don't really ever use this card, it's kind of just a name. Um, so if we end up having to get rid of anything, if we open any packs or anything like that, that are decent, um, that's going to be the first thing that goes. Next up we have our two Shadal Dragon, our two Beast, our two Hedgehog, the two Squamata, and then finally the Falco rounding off all of our Shadals. Uh, moving on, we've got our two Trick Clown, the two Mathematician, the two BLS, and then the one Armageddon Knight. And that is all of our monsters. Moving on to our spells, we've got the three Shadal Fusion, the three El Shadal Fusion, and then the three Super Polymerization. Those are all of our polys, or all of our fusion cards. And we do have some destruction for the back row. He does usually have a lot of back row if he opens it up. So we'll have the Twin Twisters there to help get rid of that. And then finally for our draw power, We've got the three Lore of Darkness and the one Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice is a card that I kind of want to boost up a little bit in case we get a little grindy, um, but that will probably be not until next week. Uh, obviously not this week since I am deck profiling this now for you guys. And then following it up with the last spell on our deck is the Foolish Burial. Um, and then our traps, we've got the Rush Doll Incarnation, the two of those, the Sail Switch that we open up out of our packs, and then the Solemn Judgment. All right, but that is our main deck for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the extra deck. I'm not going to show you the side deck this week. It doesn't change ever. Um, it's just kind of whatever came in that was left over from the structure decks. All right, so our extra deck is the three El Shaddaal Construct, the three El Shaddaal Winda, the two Apocalone, the two Shekinaga, the one Grista, the one Windigo, and the one Anilatoidus, I believe is how you spell that. We do have the one Transco Talker from last week. And then finally, after all these weeks of searching, I think it's been three weeks now searching for this card, we got the one card that I cared about out of the entire box of Ignition Assault we've been opening up. We got the one Cross Sheep. Now, if you don't know what Cross Sheep does, if a monster is special into a zone this card points to, you can apply the following effect in sequence based on the card types of the monsters that this card points to. So we're looking at the fusions. We're playing a fusion deck. We're looking at the fusion. Literally, it just says... It's kind of dumb. It says special level 1, level 4, or lower monster from your graveyard. So it's not that big of a deal, but this card allowing us to special summon and then allowing us to jump into the Transco Talker, kind of just like lead up the, the, the ranks a little bit, helps us out a lot. We don't have anything else cool. Um, Ritual is draw two cards and discard two cards. We don't have really have that. Synchro, all monsters gain 700, and XYZ, nothing really happens there. But just being able to special summon one, and then using effects and whatnot it just really helps us out. So I'm super glad we got that finally. And then uh, side deck is the same as usual. We're not going to show that. I'm just going to show if we do still have the Nipiru in the side. We're not going to hit that just yet. Um, we could have used it last game a couple times, but I'm not too worried about it right now. We'll see what happens uh, in our duel this week and see if we need to change anything. Like I said, you want to add a few pot of adverses in there if we do end up needing anything. Because uh, I do like the aspect of being able to continuously draw. Just draw, 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 draw all the time. But yeah, 
That knows the extra deck and the main deck. You didn't even need to see the side deck. If you did enjoy the deck profile today, make sure to that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, because all your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, but until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Nathan from the Scrub Academy, and I'll see you in the duel. Peace out.